Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Callie and today I'm going to be going over some of my July anticipated book releases. So I actually have a fair amount of books. I have eight books uh, for the month of July. Uh, a couple sequels, a couple of standalones. The range of books actually varies greatly uh, with July. So I'm going to start with the first Tuesday in July, which is July 6th. So for the first book in July 6th, I have Survive the Night by Riley Sager. This is Riley Sager's, I want to say fourth or fifth book. Um, and Riley Sager is known for the thriller horror genre. I very much enjoy his writing. I devour all of his books. I think I've read, I think I've read all of them. So when I saw he was coming out with another summer thriller, I was so pumped. So what this book follows is in 1991, a college student, two college students end up sharing a ride from their college campus to Ohio, but uh, one of them may be a serial killer. It sounds like this is happening over the course of one eve one night uh, from their ride from campus to Ohio and we're gonna be getting a lot of backstory on both of them and we will see if our main character can survive the night. I'm really pumped for this. I have very high expectations for another really fun thriller book. Up next I have Six Crimson Cranes by Elizabeth Lim. I love Elizabeth Lim's writing. She wrote the Spin the Dawn duology, as well as a couple of books in the uh, Disney Twisted Tales series. And that's actually where I first found her. And when I read Spin the Dawn, I picked it up immediately and fell in love with it. Six Crimson Cranes actually takes place in the same world as Spin the Dawn. You don't have to read Spin the Dawn to understand this, but this is a story of a girl who runs away from a marriage but is then cursed um, where whenever she speaks one of her brothers dies and all of her brothers have been turned into paper cranes and that's about all I know of this book and it sounds very poignant the book the myth of this story was actually told a little bit in unravel the dusk and just kind of as like a little teaser and I thought it was a really well placed and it just made me even more excited for this book. So very excited to get my hands on another Elizabeth Lim book. This book is gorgeous and just sounds fantastic. Up next is actually a book that I technically already have and that is Half Sick of Shadows by Laura Sebastian. This is a retelling of The Lady of Shalott during uh, the times of Arthur. Um, so we're following Elaine trying to go through the trials and tribulations of the Arthurian court. And this was actually a June book of the month pick. So I actually already have a copy, but it does technically drop on July 6th. The last book I have for July 6th, It Ends in Fire by Andrew Schwartz. This book sounds really intriguing and a play on some older YA tropes. The tagline is Elka has is on a mission. One, infiltrate Blackwater Academy. Two, win the great game. And three, burn wizard society to the ground. So it sounds like this girl is trying to infiltrate wizard society and just burn it from the inside. And usually we get you know, the wizard side of these kinds of stories where rebels who hate magic are trying to, you know, make them into villains and the wizards are really our heroes. So this is a play on that where it sounds like um, we're going to be following the rebels and I'm really excited to see this trope flipped on its head. It sounds like it could be really interesting. Plus the title, I feel like, it, you know, burn it to the ground and it's called It Ends in Fire. It's, it feels like it's gonna be good. The next date that I have for July is July 13th, and I actually only have one book for this date, and that is Wings of Shadow by Nikki Palpretto. This is the third and final book in the Crown of Feathers trilogy. I discovered the Crown of Feathers trilogy uh, because that book was the first Owl Crate I actually ever received, and I loved it. Um, it is a story about Phoenix Riders. Um, in this world, uh, there was this there was this big war. The country that owned the Phoenix Riders or Phoenixes was burned down, and all the Phoenixes were killed. 
our two sister main character two sisters finds a phoenix egg and tries to hatch it and our story kind of goes on from there i do need to reread it i've been pushing my reread till this book got a drop date so i'm gonna be hopefully doing this uh soon and i'll be able to just binge through the trilogy because book one was just so good full of great twists and turns crown of feathers was uh, Nikki Palo Preto's debut novel and it was a it was such a strong novel so I'm so excited to see how her writing has grown throughout the series. I haven't yet touched Heart of Flames so all of those are going to be new to me and I'm just very excited. The next date that I have for July is July 20th. The first book is another sequel and that is Untethered by Kaylin Flanders. This is the sequel and finale to Shielded. And Shielded was a really fun book. I read it last summer. I do need to reread it because I just basically remember is it is a warrior princess getting ready to save her kingdom in this big magical war. And I just remember I really liked the characters. I read so many books that sometimes they, they fall out of my head. It happens. It's why I love to reread. Um, a lot of my books especially when sequels come out I don't really care for like the wiki pages that I know a lot of books do have for you know it get to get you prepared if that's more your speed that is totally up to you I prefer to just reread the book it's just how I am I don't know so I'm really excited to get the second book I actually follow Kaylin Flanders on all of her social medias especially her TikTok and she's really funny. She's filled with really good writing advice and she's been posting a lot about Untethered so I'm really excited to get my hands on it. The last book for July 20th is These Hollow Vows by Lexi Ryan. Now I'm gonna be honest the main thing that drew me to this book was the title and the cover. I love the very artistic renderings, illustrative covers of characters and this is a fey book. This is a girl who is stuck between two courts, two fairy courts, and has to navigate politically, strategically, and deal with also being in fey court. So it sounds like it's going to be a mix of The Cruel Prince and A Court of Thorns and Roses, which are two of my favorite series of all time. So this sounds right up my alley, and I'm very, very excited to get my hands on this gorgeous book. And the last date that I have is July 27th and the book that I have coming out then is Gods and Monsters by Shelby Mehuren. This is the third and final book in the Serpent and Dove trilogy. I loved Serpent and Dove. I read it I actually want to say probably two years ago now because I haven't read Blood and Honey yet and I loved it. It was a such a strong debut novel series beginning of a series whatever you want to call it it was filled with romance we're following Lou and Reed who are forced into a marriage and Reed is a witch hunter and unknowingly has to marry Lou who is a witch and our story and angst just sort of go on from there book one was so strong and really fun i have yet to pick up blood and honey because similar to crown of feathers i kept pushing it off until gods and monsters came out with a uh release date and when it did i was just like i can wait until the end of july to read just the entire series again because they're both just the characters in this one is what i loved the plot was a little flat but the characters were so strong that it made up for that at least for me i have unfortunately heard some eh things about the second book but i am still ready second book syndrome happens the third book is usually worth it so i'm really happy that i won't have to wait um once i finish blood and honey to jump right into book three of gods and monsters and that's actually all i have for uh, books i'm excited for that are coming out in july let me know down below in the comments what books you're excited for that are dropping next month i know a ton of books dropped in june so we'll see how many of these books i actually get <laughs> but overall very excited a lot of sequels coming out this month which is fine usually fall is when the newer books come out so either way it's gonna be a really good time and filled with really good books i hope so Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. We post videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And I will see you guys in our next video. Bye!